How's it guys, I'm Houdini and we are going to be doing a series of tutorials on Xiaomi networking products from unboxing all the way through to having internet connectivity and today we're going to start off with the AX3200 from Xiaomi. These tutorials have been taken from your perspective in that you've just gone out to get the device or it's just arrived from online shopping, it's at your house and you need to set it up. So we're going to cover everything from unboxing, what cables need to insert and then we're going to go on to the software and firmware so that you can get connected to the internet and get going. Let's start off with the unboxing. So your AX3200 just arrived and you want to know how to set it up. We're going to go through the physical steps. So let's start. Just note that this is what we would call a hybrid router that you can either put on to a mesh network or you can use extenders. But let's go on with the physical setup. First thing that you want to do is you want to get that adhesive just by cutting it and undoing the box and sliding out the inner contents segment. Inner contents, quite simple. First thing that you want to do is get your router or router, depending on which country you live, and take off all the plastic. The one aerial came off there, so don't worry. All the aerials will have their own plastics. Take out the AC power cable, take out the ethernet cable, and that's it for unboxing. I missed one. I did miss one, but I got it. Once that's done, get your aerials into the upright positions. Then what you want to do is you want to plug the ethernet into the blue labeled WAN connection. And then the other side of this, you're going to put into your ONT. Also make sure that you plug in to power and that you power on. Once you put it basically to that step and it looks like that, this into the ONT and your power in, you are basically ready to go and then we will move on with the next instruction. Now that it's unboxed and set up, we want to connect to the internet and there are two methods in order to do this. The first method is the browser setup. Once your device is fully connected and powered on, go to your desktop and look in your Wi-Fi networks. You will see that it's outputting two signals being the 2.4 and the 5G. You can select either one. Just one top tip, if you are running any other Xiaomi mesh devices, make sure they are completely powered off so that the network doesn't pick them up and it doesn't take the AX3200 and automatically place them into the mesh network if you are setting this up as the main router. Select connect. Once you are connected it will automatically bring you to this page which is the Mi Wi-Fi setup. Note the URL is router.mywifi.com so if it doesn't open this up you can simply type this in and it'll bring you to this page so long as you are connected to the Wi-Fi device. Firstly we want to select our country. Now note that South Africa is here but if it's not I will show you how to get it in further steps. Make sure that you have selected South Africa and that you have selected I have read and agreed to the Mi Wi-Fi router user agreement. Now you can see current mode has been detected as to retrieve IP automatically. This is a dynamic connection. If you do not have a dynamic it means that you will need to have your PPPoE username and password and exactly where this appears you will enter the username and password as provided by your ISP. But you can also select which router mode you would like. So you can select it as router mode, wireless relay mode, as well as AP mode if you are going for a more advanced setup. Next it's going to ask you what do you want your Wi-Fi network to be named. In this case we're just going to name it Xiaomi because this is a setup tutorial and the password we're going to make Xiaomi1234. Now also note above it'll say combined dual band. This means that you will not see 2.4 and 5G. You will only see one Wi-Fi network. You can split them by unchecking that box. Also note Note that the username and password that you have selected will now be the router administrator password. Also, you can check for a better experience, automatically upgrade the firmware version for when your router is idle. This just means that the router will be constantly up to date. Now select next. The setup is now complete and the router is restarting. Note at the bottom here, it'll give you the network name as well as the network password. For those that want the IP address, you can see the IP address that it has been assigned at the bottom. Now you will see that you don't have any internet connection. This is because you've changed the router's username and password. So in order to re-establish your internet connection, simply click on the icon, manage your Wi-Fi connections, find your new network, connect, and put in the password. Once you have connected to the new network, you can go to router.mywifi.com or the 192.168.31.1 IP address and push enter. This will take you to the interface page for your newly set up router. Put in the password as you selected in the setup and congratulations, you are in the back end of your router with a established internet connection. To ensure that your internet is running, you can go to Google and select speed test and run a speed test. 
Now this is the landing page in which you will see status, settings, advanced, add a mesh node, as well as a drop down arrow that allows you to change your router name, update the system. You can download the Mi Home app from here. You can reboot the device as well as sign out. If you do have any notifications, this mail icon will be clickable and you can click and identify what notification you have to open. Starting off with status, you can see that the 2.4 and 5G networks are up and you can see which clients are connected. At the moment, we have one client connected to the 5, which is this PC. At the bottom, we can also see which router it is, the version of the actual firmware on the router, the MAC address and the serial number. In settings, you'll have the Wi-Fi settings, the network settings, the security settings, the LAN settings, as well as the current status. Now, if you did not have South Africa as an option, you need to make sure that your router is up to date. I'm on 1.0.83, which means that I'm on the latest version, which had South Africa as a country. Once you've updated this, then you want to do a factory data reset. Do not do a hard reset at the back of the router. Do a factory data reset and say restore here and that'll reset the router with the new firmware on so that you are able to start the process with South Africa being there. Just some basic settings that you should know is if you go to Wi-Fi settings, you do have the ability to change Smart Connect on and off. This will split the 2.4 and 5G networks so that you are able to select them individually. More importantly, in Wi-Fi settings, you do have the ability to change the password at any time by simply typing your new password and selecting save. Another important basic note that you will need to know is if you want the admin administrator password being different from your Wi-Fi password, you will need to put the Wi-Fi password into the original password and change the administrator password by selecting a new password and confirming the new password. This will make sure that your administrator password and your Wi-Fi password are now different so that you can log on and not have the same password. We also do have advanced settings, which is your quality of service, your DDNS, your port forwarding, your VPN and your IPTV. But for the ones that you really want to know, we will discover these when we go through the smart app setup. And last point before we reset this device and go through the smart setup on the app is if you want to add a mesh node, if you're not going to be using the app, it is way better to use it on the app. But if you don't want to, you can go add mesh node and select start searching. Now you will need to make sure that the mesh node is on and it is discoverable. Once it is in this mode, you are able to say search again if you weren't able to find it the first time and add it to the network. And the second method is setting up through the Xiaomi Home app. Okay, so now it's time to set up your AX3200 from your Xiaomi Home app from Fresh. So same thing as the browser, you need to select the correct Wi-Fi output and we can see it at the top. Now the setup will be pretty much identical to the browser, but let's go through these steps anyway. Select South Africa, agree to the policy and set up. Again, a repetition, if you do not have a dynamic internet provider, you will need to put in your PPPoE username and password. This is dynamic, so we can just select next. Now we're going to name this the same as we did before. We're going to combine the bands and we're going to make the password the same as the administrator. Now we have lost connection because the router has reset with its new SSID. So once this happens, you need to go back to your Wi-Fi settings. Now we need to find Xiaomi, which is at the top and we can connect. Now we are connected and we can see via Wi-Fi 6. And now your router is set up. Now we can propagate it to your Xiaomi Home app by going into your Xiaomi Home app. Now, as we come into the app, it's automatically picked up that a new device is on the network. This is because we are connected to its Wi-Fi network, so we can simply say add. Now we need to enter the administrator password, which is the same as the Wi-Fi password. Now, the reason that it's best to set this up through the Xiaomi Home app is because we already have our room set up as per all of our other devices. So we can immediately say set room to studio in which we have set this up now, rather than a pre-select list. Set name Xiaomi, which we are happy with for now. We agree. And now we can see that the PC that recognizes the old SSID password and username, as well as the phone, which is the Poco F4 GT here, are both connected to this new router. Now, if for some reason it didn't pick up when you did enter the app, you can simply push plus and say scan and scan the QR code that comes on the box. Alternatively, you can say add a device. Now it's picking up a node that I'm about to pair, but you can scroll down the list over here until you find router 
and you can see there the Xiaomi router AX3200. Now we don't need to set it up because it is already set up. Now the device is fully set up. Now we can see what we are able to achieve with inside the Xiaomi Home app by selecting on the device. Now from here we can see that we have got more selection as to what we can do with the device than we did on the browser. For example, we still have network settings, we can do a timed result, we can manage the password, we can reset or use the upgrade assistant, we can restore to factory settings, we can turn on and off LED indicator controls as well as go into IPTV. We also have router optimizations which is quality of service, speed limits as well as Wi-Fi optimization. Now the ones that I want to take you through are network settings. Net Network settings the same as the browser in which you are able to change the password. Now you can simply select password there and change the password and save. You're also able to undo the dual band combination. You can also change the SSID or name of the network but just note that any device that previously was connected to it will need to be reconnected because it wouldn't have saved those settings. Next we have timed restart so this is simply what it says is that at a certain time you can select when the device restarts. This is really good for clearing cache and settings so that you have an optimized return but this is not generally necessary and you can do this at one two three o'clock in the morning it is good to reset your router every now and again manage password but this is for administrator passwords so this is how you would connect in to the actual router restart router which is good for when you may be having any issues and you just want to reset and refresh the router upgrade assistance is really good because you can just go into it and say check for upgrade if there are no upgrades it will not prompt anything but when there are updates you can just select and it will update automatically we can restore to factory settings which you're not going to do now and the last two LED indicator control and IPTV we won't go into next router optimization has two really cool features one is QoS limit speed so this basically means that you can set the upload and download speeds of the actual router and next we have Wi-Fi optimization which is a simple tap on and you're able to scan the device and then optimize the device. This is also good for when you have a mesh network that you can optimize the signal strength. Not saying that the setup is optimal, optimization is not required. Lastly in router apps we have a timer to disable Wi-Fi so if you do want your Wi-Fi to turn off at a certain time and no one to access Wi-Fi you can do that. We can set up a guest Wi-Fi network and simply by ticking on that box and you can name the guest Wi-Fi network as well as a password and you will be able to set at which speeds they can download and upload at so that it doesn't affect your main network. Last thing that I want to run through is if you want to add devices to your network we can simply go into mesh network devices we can select plus begin setup and search for any mesh nodes. So this is the mesh node that I set up on the browser source and then reset but we can select on that. Now we're able to select where we want to set it up so we can say living room and it will start extending the mesh network to the mesh node. As it says at the bottom allow one to two minutes but once you've done this your network is fully set up your AX3200 is fully set up and you have the ability to come into the app and make changes as you see fit. Now that the node has been expanded we can select add a new mesh node or we can complete. Now in order to make sure that it is connected go back to the main menu and select on the side arrow and you can see at the bottom the living room is connected. If it doesn't appear just reset the app and it will appear when you come back into that. From here you're able to select on either the home gateway or the living room and you can see a 2 on the home gateway and a 0 on the living room. 2 means that two devices are connected. So if you do go into that you can see that number of devices connected to so we can select on that and from there we can actually manage the individual devices that are connected. You are able to blacklist the device so that it cannot access the internet. You are able to limit the speed as well as give it different access controls. This is very good because you can schedule a disconnection which means that for children that you don't want to have access after a certain time you can schedule a disconnection and set a certain time at say nine o'clock at night you don't want it to have any internet so that your children go to sleep but these are all things that you are able to explore with inside the application.
And just as a bonus tip, you can say smart speed limiting. Now in the beginning of the menu, you had something called QoS limiting. Now this will actually limit the device, not the entire network. So if we select that on and say confirm, and we can say that this device is only allowed to download 50 megabytes per second and upload 50 megabytes per second at any time so that it doesn't take up your entire network. Congratulations, that is your AX3200 completely set up. A top tip is if you bought this device with the intention of using it as your primary node or primary router and you do have other Xiaomi mesh systems in your home, make sure that those are turned off. This is because the Xiaomi network system will automatically try to propagate it into the network. And by turning off all the other devices, you will be able to set this up as a fresh new device. And then you can take it from there. And that's it, your device is set up, connected and ready to go. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible, or hopefully a community member gets there faster. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cheers and goodbye.